Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In this episode, we're going to be making our way over to Central Station. In the last episode, we saw that we need to go there, mainly because we have to research the Seven Wonders of Twilight Town for some homework that our characters have to do here. But as soon as we go into Central Station over here, I'm just going to crash right into it, we're going to be getting a cutscene. The time has come. Our hunt for the Seven Wonders begins. Whoa! Find new rumors already? Nothing on Market Street. You twerps aren't gonna scoop us. We're going to the terrace with you. Hainer, it's not a race. Well, it is now. <laughs> Come on, we can all go. Let hurry. Huh. Aren't these the steps you talked about? The ones that count different going up and down? Mmm. Actually, it's the stupidest thing ever, but what? Rise the one who counted. He's like, every time I count, it's different. You know? <laughs> so, he just counted wrong? Ugh. Hey, no worries. So unfortunately, the first wonder of Twilight Town was a bust, but what I would like to do here is equip Guard and Scan, and then go ahead and equip that Championship Belt, or the Champion Belt apparently is what it's actually called, that we got from the Struggle Tournament in the last episode. Basically, and I explained this in the last episode, but the commentary kind of got messed up for this part for whatever reason. Basically, if you beat Setzer, you get the Champion Belt, and if you don't, you get the Medal, which I'm not even sure if you can equip, because I've never actually lost that fight. But over here, if we investigate this wall, we will be getting our second of seven Wonders of Twilight Town, and I think this is one of the cooler ones. Basically, all we're gonna do for this minigame is run back here to the back wall and tap triangle, and there we go. It's a very easy minigame. All you gotta do is dodge the balls. I think it would have been a lot more fun if they had had more balls, maybe, going faster. I'm not entirely sure, but here's another cutscene. Oh, it's just you, Roxas. Were you throwing a ball? That ball flew out of nowhere and totally startled me. Hey, I know! This explains one of those seven wonders! I always wish that Roxas would have spoken up there and told Pence that he wasn't throwing that ball, because I think that might have been a true wonder of Twilight Town. But speaking of true wonders of Twilight Town, if we come over here and investigate this iffy-looking tunnel, we'll be getting another one of those wonders. Vivi? <laughs> I feel like they really went all out in trying to make Vivi one of the creepier characters in Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't really remember him being like this in Final Fantasy IX, but here we have a little mini-game, more combat-oriented, I guess, 
where we have a whole bunch of little mini BBs. Actually, I guess they're regular size, but they do only take one hit to kill you. So as long as you keep them all in front of you and don't let them gang up on you, you'll be fine. But here we've taken them out, and we're going to be getting another cutscene. This episode is going to be absolutely full of cutscenes, so I hope you guys are ready for that. What is it, Roxas? Oh, did you need this, Roxas? Planning on getting in some practice, I bet. Uh, no, it's just that there were so many of you. Huh? So many of me? I don't get it. Anyway, I'm done with this, Roxas. You can take your time. So the mystery voice was just Vivi practicing. Listen, there were a whole bunch of Vivi clones here just a minute ago. I have a feeling Pence is not going to believe Roxas yet again, but if we take the skateboard, we'll be able to get out of these sewers or whatever they are, I forgot what exactly that area was called, in a very short amount of time. But what I would like to do now is go ahead and look for some treasure chests around here. And there is going to be, I believe, our first treasure chest in the entire game. I don't think we've gotten any up to this point. But if we hop up on top of the tram, we can come get this treasure chest over here, which has an ability ring, which I'll equip later on. Not right now, because it's not really necessary. Back here, we have a potion. And I believe there's one more up on the top of the, like, area up here. But I'll get that in a minute after I take care of this wonder, I guess you could call it, over here in the waterfall. But this is very reminiscent, I think I've said this already in the Let's Play, but this is very reminiscent of Ocarina of Time. For some reason, back in the day, I always thought Shadow Roxas, as he's called here in the information bar, I always felt he, like he was really hard, but he's really not hard at all. And I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but if you have the finishing plus combo or what ability equipped, I recommend not using that second combo finish if you're not close enough to the wall. Basically, that first combo finisher will move them too far away for your second combo finish to hit them, and it'll basically leave you open to attack, and you're going to take some damage. So unless you're close enough to the wall, I just recommend not using it at all. But we've taken care of Shadow Roxas and more cutscenes. Roxas! You alright? Now that's spooky. I thought I saw someone, but it was just my reflection. I bet this is behind one of those seven wonders. Another... me? I feel like they responded a little bit more appropriately to what just happened in that waterfall than they did for the balls coming out of the wall that we saw earlier. But here we're going to be getting, our, I believe, our fourth treasure chest in this area. And as for right now, that is all of the treasure chests that we can get. Up here we're going to be getting actually our final wonder as well. And that kid I just ran by, I don't think it's really that important to, you know, talk to him. But he has a little bit of significance when it comes to this wonder right here. And I'll tell you about that after this introduction to this minigame. I take back what I said about telling you guys exactly what significance that kid has. I'll tell you after I'm done with the minigame, not after the introduction to the minigame. But as far as minigames go, this is a very, very easy minigame. All I'm doing right now is tapping triangle. That is all you have to do. And up there in the top left, I might be blind, but does that say UMR or UMA? I don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure that in the original version of Kingdom Hearts 2, it didn't say that, so I have to believe that's some sort of Japanese thing, but I'm not entirely sure. But as you can see, there is a dog in here, and that kid that we just walked by back there 
this is his dog, and if you talk to him, I wish I had now, because we're gonna be getting some cutscenes here that we can't go back and talk to him, but he basically says, I don't know where my dog went. But speaking of cutscenes, here we're gonna be getting yet another huge long string of cutscenes. You know, that last wonder wasn't exactly wonderful. I understand, say no more. But this next one's gonna be really great. Wonder number six. We got another lead. The ghost train mystery. Everybody knows about wonder number six. Yeah, well I didn't. Did you find out where the train runs? You can see it from Sunset Hill. If the rumors are true, it'll be here any minute. For they say the train is empty. No driver, no conductor, no passengers, no return. We've got to make it to the beach next year. Yeah. We better get jobs the second vacation starts. Good afternoon, slackers. What are you doing out here? What do you care? I don't. Tell me anyway. We're waiting for the ghost train. Waiting for the ghost train. <laughs> Why does looking at you always tick me off? I don't know. Maybe it's destiny. Destiny? In that case, let's be friends. I don't feel like cooperating with destiny. When have you ever cooperated with anything? I know. Tomorrow. Look! It's really true. And there's really no one aboard. What's the catch? There's got to be a catch, right? Then it's real? Let's go to the station! Let's go in. What? Um, you'll get hurt. Huh? The train will be arriving shortly. Come on. A train came from the beach. Th there was no driver, right? Let's go. Right? Let's go home and work on the paper. The rumors were bogus. The end. We can still make it sound good if we write about all the work we did. But what about the last one? The seventh wonder? Who cares? I do. Come on, Pence. Whatever. Roxas. <sighs> it's at that haunted mansion. You 
would think an adventurer like Hayner would be the first one to want to go to the mansion to investigate what's supposed to be the best of all of the wonders in Twilight Town, but I do remember back in the day when I got this game, I think I got it a little bit late, I wish I could say I got it on release day, and that kind of reminds me of the Shawshank Redemption speech by Morgan Freeman, and I only bring that up because I just watched that recently for the first time. But anyway, back in the day, I got this at the end of summer, and as middle schoolers are want to have, I had a lot of summer homework, and I always felt like this area right here of the game, it really kind of spoke to me, I guess, because I remember not wanting to finish my homework and not wanting summer to end, and I kind of could connect, I guess, with the characters a little bit more, but here we're going to be getting another long bout of cutscenes. You know something? Whoa. We were going to check the mansion out tomorrow. It is the most suspicious place. Right. Even Cypher's gang was going to help. Cypher? Yeah, Hainer asked him to. So, what are we looking for? Well, they say there's a girl who appears at the second floor window, even though no one's lived here for years. Roxas. Namine? This is... me? And Axel's here too. You are best friends. Very funny. Don't you want to know the truth? About who you really are? No one knows me better than me. <laughs> of course. But, I don't get what's been happening lately. You know these three, don't you? Yeah. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. They're from the dreams. About a year ago, some things happened. And I had to take apart the memories chained together in Sora's heart. But now... I'm putting them all back exactly the way they were. It's taken me a long time, but pretty soon, Sora will be his old self again. The process has been affecting you too, Roxas. You mean, the dreams? Yes. You and Sora are connected. And, in order for Sora to become completely whole again, he needs you. Me? What for? You hold half of what he is. He needs you, Roxas. Namine? Namine. Who are you? I'm a witch, with power over Sora's memories and those around him. A witch? That's what Diz called me. But... I don't know why I have this power. I just do. I'm not even sure there's a right way for me to use it. Hmm. I can't help you there. It's funny. Suddenly, I, I feel like I don't know myself at all. I guess I would like to know. What do you know about me that I don't? You... You were never supposed to exist, Roxas. 
What? How could you even say such a thing? Even if it were true? I'm sorry. I guess some things really are better left unsaid. Roxas! Roxas! Huh? Did you see her? Yeah. Watch the window. Closely. Ah, lame. That's just the curtains moving. There must be a draft somewhere. I'm surprised this old place even has curtains. Yeah. Well, let's head back to the usual spot. Hainer and a letter waiting. Hey guys, how'd it go? The girl in the window turned out to be a curtain flapping in the wind. I figured as much. The report's already done. All right. So, want to go find Hainer? He's probably at the station. You know, we only have two more days together. Huh? Summer vacation, remember? Oh, right. Tomorrow, we search the town. Next day's the fair. The last day of summer. Don't say that. You give me an ulcer. Not if you explode from all that ice cream first. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you show him the train? Because he missed the trip to the beach. Hmm. That's almost kind of you. No. What about you? Are the holes in your memory starting to fill in? Yes. The haze is clearing. The same thing is happening to everyone who had ties to Sora. Very soon, to them, he'd be like a good friend who's gone away for a year. I've waited and now I want to know. What is it that you want? Revenge. Revenge? Now for the finishing touches. First, we must dispose of Namine. She did a splendid job with Sora, but it's high time she disappeared. Roxas isn't the only one who was never meant to exist. Take care of it, Ansem. Restoration at 97%. Gorge, is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place, and to us? All worlds begin in darkness, and all so end. The heart is no different. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true! The heart may be weak, and sometimes, it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. Kingdom Hearts! Fill me with the power of darkness! You're wrong. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom Hearts is light! Now, Sora, let's close this door for good! Take care of her.
remember what you said before? I'm always with you too. I'll come back to you. I promise. I know you will. We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. But, uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? Peter Gorge, that's the King's seal! Hey, have you seen King Mickey? Let's go! I've been to see him. He looks a lot like you. Who are you? Why do you have the Keyblade? Shut up! Man, I could not sleep last night. Guys? Huh? I don't know if it's immediately obvious, but at this point in the game, basically when that when those flashback cutscenes play, those are supposed to signify that Sora's memories are being put back into him as if you played Kingdom Hearts Rechained Memories, you would know why that had to be done. But as soon as he saw Castle Oblivion, apparently that's the last thing he remembers. So as of this point in the game, he's as complete as he can be without one final piece of the puzzle, and in the next episode, Maybe Sora will finally be completely restored. But as for this episode, guys, I think it had some of the best cutscenes that we've seen so far. And in the next episode, we will be getting to what I consider to be probably the saddest cutscene in the entire series, but that could just be me. But I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, and I hope to see you guys back for the next episode.